Hey, so hello, what's up guys? It's William here and if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button if you find this video helpful. So uh, this video is intended for macro photography. So if you're into macro photography and you're a beginner like me um, and you don't want to spend uh, too much money on buying a macro lens. So in this video, I'm going to show you a item that I bought not from Amazon but from a person it's a second-hand one it's a newer multi functional extension tube so upon checking this on Amazon this is already discontinued from newer I'd say this is unavailable but when I check other brand that makes this uh, I found one which is a make the brand is makey so this one what it does it it turns your existing uh, camera lens into a macro lens I'll show you so in the box or in the packaging you'll get this which is an extension tube it comes with cables too so this one it will come with four different mounting brackets so we have that's 58 millimeter for your 58 millimeter lens which comes with your dslr camera you have 67 72 and then you have 77 for wide angle lens so on your camera if you use this as a normal lens you get a wider view right but if you use this backward like that You'll get a smaller view uh, so what they do is uh, they put this in backward mode which is uh, like that so you have your body and then they just put that closer to the it's not gonna hold up because it doesn't have any mounting right so what this brackets do is you can mount this to your lens where is that 58 millimeter so yeah so this is 58 millimeter there's a thread in front of your lens here now you can thread this in until it's tight okay so on your uh, extension tube there's two ways that you can use this you can either use this as a single uh, extension tube or you can use this as a backward extension tube so basically on a single extension tube you can just mount in your your regular lens so you just mount that in and that basically gives a gap between your sensor and your lens to be able for you to focus close to your subject and that's one way the second way is when you remove your lens you can just Pull that down, twist it, and remove your lens. Now the other way is you can unscrew this, mount this backwards. You can mount this backward on your lens. So instead of using the whole front lens, you are using the small lens at the back. So to be able to do that, you have to mount this in front. Mount this in front. Make sure it's tight now you can mount this other piece at the back of your lens or the contact points of your lens so to be able to do that you have to line up the square onto the square shape right here so line that up now it's lined up lock it now it's locked now if you can see this is mounted backwards so your back lens and your front lens your front if you do that without this cable here it doesn't give you an option to control your aperture and your shutter speed so this is a great uh, and expensive tool to use when you are into macro photography because you can use your existing lenses now let's go to the pros and cons of this so the pros is this is inexpensive cheaper uh, the price of this on Amazon 
Uh, this newer brand is uh, $80 on Amazon. Uh, the other brand, which is the same thing as this one, it's uh, under Makey brand. It's same thing, it's $80 too on Amazon. The cons of this is uh, the setting up. Uh, it's not really quick to set up. All right, so there's two ways. Single tube, you have to screw this in, which it it makes it difficult for you to screw in because of the the cables. It's really thick, if you can see that, it's really thick. Uh, the other cones of this is when you use the autofocus of your um, lens. Now I'll show you what I mean by the uh, autofocus motor. Okay. See that? Because of this cable here, it makes it difficult for the motor inside of your lens to do its job. Although it focuses, but it puts a strain on the motor inside. So if I do this, if I try to get a good... Right. See that focuses? Keep the shot, but my hands is too steady. So right there. So see how 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 close we are when you take a photo of this. There you go. That's how close you can you can zoom in. Um, yeah, they say that if you have a wider wider lens, the more closer you can go on your uh, subject. So I'll show you some of the um, footage that I took from my. Uh, lens my 58 millimeter lens to my uh, 77 millimeter lens which is a 10 to uh, 10 to 20 millimeter <clears throat> and this one is uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens so this picture was taken with the regular 18 to 55 millimeter lens next is uh, mounted backwards with 18 to 55 millimeter lens and this one is taken from 10 to 20 millimeter wide angle lens and this is the close up of the macro lens of that 10 to 20 millimeter just note that I'm using a uh, speed light here which is NW561 you need a good lighting to to do your macro photography because the, if you get too close to your subject uh, it gives that shade on the subject so you are gonna need a speed light so the speed light, you can just mount this in, or you can just use your your regular speed light right here. But sometimes if this is too long, your built-in flash won't really cover the light, or there's there's still a shade. Unlike if you buy a dedicated flash speed light, you can just make this in 90 degree angle and just shoot it. So uh, there's one setup that I saw on YouTube. I mean on YouTube, uh, they they put some like a paper here in front, and then they just shoot that. So the the paper will just diffuse the light. Uh, another thing that you need is a tripod. If you have a small tripod, you can use the small tripod to uh, make your hands steady, because if you're holding this and you're trying to focus on your subject and it's in, in the long run your hands is gonna get too tired of holding this because this is heavy and this is heavy you can buy a, a cheap tripod on the market on Amazon I will try to include all those links down that's it guys so hopefully this video helps you out and if so please leave a comment consider subscribing that will help my channel if you like this video hit that like button if you don't like it hit that thumbs down button it's up to you thank you and